like news anchors both like band anchor and co-anchor and they're both giving the daily news. Oh, I like Ooh, it. I like it. Do you need the daily news? We will need chairs. Yep, we'll need chairs. I'll be the intro. Music! They need intro music. They'll be fine. I'm gonna do it anyway. Run on channel 7. Alright, whenever you boys are ready, take it away. Go ahead. There was no music today. <laughs> No, no budget news where we can't afford an opening song. <laughs> I'm Chip McGee. And I'm Chop McGee. <laughs> also known as Suey. <laughs> Chip Chop Suey. Well, what's the news today, Chip? Well, 14 people are dead today after a comet landed in Alaska. That's terrible news, It was Chip. terrible. But luckily we have somebody, we had an interview with the mayor of the town. We did have an interview with the mayor of the town. We what did he say, Chip? Well, luckily we quoted him as saying, the king in the north, the king in the north, the king in the north. <laughs> How fitting that this happened in Alaska. <laughs> Winter has arrived. Winter is here, folks. Here, right. Buckle up. <laughs> so what about sports? What's happening in sports? Well, in sports today, we had the play of the game. Given to Cersei Lannister for about 42... <laughs> 52 kills. We had an interview with her after the episode. This is what she said, Jim. Job. <laughs> and you know what the worst part is? I never learned how to read. <laughs> but further investigation, we found out that she did not receive an education. <laughs> you have to, have to, be a, to be either royalty, a politician, or an athlete. Or a murderer, either, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no directions on a knife. <laughs> but, you know what? <laughs> consumer report for today, Chip? I do have a consumer report. The entire market is closed today after... Brexit. Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> consumer report, consumer Chip! Report. <laughs> the markets are closed. I really have nothing else to report on that. Oh, that's unfortunate. I, I the do. markets are closed. The markets are closed. We did find a man that was sleeping outside of Wall Street, though. Oh! So we tried to interview him, and he ran away screaming. But then we found another guy who luckily had something to say. What did he say, Chip? 24? <laughs> Days until the apocalypse because of Brexit. Yes, let's look at the countdown clock. <laughs> We're at 24. 24 days. Better start preparing for winter. Nuclear winter, that is. Speaking of weather. Winter. The weather report for this week. It's been hot in Arizona, hasn't it? Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. hot. Might as well just go live in hell. <laughs> People in Arizona are already there. Yeah. That's true. We actually spoke to a man from Arizona. Did you? Yes, he moved to the north. Did he? Yes. <laughs> Here's what he said, Chip. <laughs> A lot of interviews going on. <laughs> Here's what he said, Chip. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> that there's so many interviews. And it doesn't make sense at all. At That's all. how low budget of news we are. No I budget just, Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm getting new. I don't even have a microphone or a speaker in my ear, but I'm getting. I'm getting a secret. Breaking news. Breaking news, not secret, secret news. Secret news, breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> we haven't been classically trained at all, folks. No. So, okay, are you seeing this? One million dollars. We are now high budget news, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? Let's go ahead and have that intro music, Chip. Ba -ba -ba -ba. There it ba -ba -ba. is. <laughs> Same guy who did Star Wars. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Speaking of Star Wars, I have the movie review for the week. Do you? Yes. Which movie are you reviewing today, Chop? Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> Forty some years after. Up, up, up until several minutes ago, we didn't have the money to go see a movie, so. <laughs> but you saw it very quickly. We did see it very quickly. We had a chance to interview George Lucas just a couple of minutes ago after we were able to pay him a large sum of money for the interview. All one million dollars. <laughs> No budget news, folks. <laughs> did you George have anything interesting to say? The one thing, Chip. He said. <laughs> yes. No, I've heard that that's how he is actually on set. That doesn't surprise me at all. 
That doesn't surprise me either, Chip. Oh, did you hear? Did you hear the latest news in fashion? The latest news in fashion. Let's hear it, Chip. I'm really excited. No pants are in. No <laughs> pants are in. Woo! Or Bunny Wrangler or Winnie the Pooh. Or Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> so we were able to actually go out on the street and interview a few people about this new trend. Were they wearing pants, Chip? They were not, so they were quickly hauled away by the police. <laughs> what did they say before the police hauled them away, Chip? They said, now it is expectation? <laughs> I think you might have read the teleprompter wrong there, Chip. Nope, you read it right, Chip. <laughs> That's not a teleprompter, that's your cousin with a cucumber. Oh, hey, Billy! You know, in the hiring process, you know, we asked Billy a lot of interesting questions. We did! We interviewed Billy! So many questions. So many questions. Do you remember what he said when we asked him about his pay scale preference? I actually do remember exactly what he said, Chip. Would you like to hear it? I would love to hear it, and I'm sure the audience at home would, too. I don't think we have any viewers, Chip. <laughs> When we asked him about his pay scale, he said, I'm so full, I want a slice of lasagna. <laughs> Meaning we didn't pay him. <laughs> but that's fine, but then we also interviewed another lady for the weather lady. Luckily, she did not take very well. I'm a little confused about what you just said, Jim. <laughs> English is my second language. They brought me over from the Spanish channel. <laughs> So when they were interviewing me, they asked me, ¿Cómo estás, Chip? <laughs> I don't speak Spanish either. <laughs> so when they were interviewing me for the position, they asked me about my English skills and where I went to school. And I had a very interesting thing to say about my school. What did you say about your school, Chip? I said, stop bewitching me with your pelvic magic. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was hired and introduced to you. <laughs> I like dudes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a great one of stories, Chip. I think we actually have one more thing coming in. Give it a second. My cousin's writing the next cue card. Oh, there it is. Ah, right news there. story. He's Breaking news. Wrong. Coming in from... China. Next card. Alaska! Again, we're having a lot of news in Alaska. A lot, yeah, a lot of bad things happening. Crap, I can't remember how it goes. <laughs> Thanks, Billy! We're relying on you for the news. <laughs>